Hola, welcome to my hike. I am so happy to see you. Today, I am hiking in the actual the hiking capital of the world, Encino, California. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there is nothing around here for miles except strip malls and traffic. But that's not too far away. We're gonna have a great hike today. So strap on your valley sunglasses and your valley accent and like, why don't we take a hike? Turning up the trails with me today on this side. Oh man, I will watch anything that he's in. His resume of work is staggering. I mean, some great films, I Know Country for Old Men, to Leslie, Old Brother Where Art Thou? And I'm kind of thinking, Oh brother, where are I right now? And his TV stuff, come on. I wanna just sit down with a big bowl of popcorn and just watch him work. Well, guess what? He's got another great role today and that's called Hiking with Kevin. So put your hiking boots together, get your popcorn out. And today we are hiking with the amazing Stephen Root. Look at us both showing up with the same hats on. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're looking pretty good <laughs> for the older set. Well, you know, the truth is, that was an extra hat I had in my car, which you're going to keep, by the way. Oh, I love it. Not only because I'm generous, but because I don't want to get your head sweat on my head. And can you believe it? Another rider strike. Yeah, that's it's just incredible. It's it's now seems like there used to be some people who were had some artistic bent. <laughs> yeah. At the top of that echelon, and there isn't anymore. No. It's just. Take care of the shareholders. We don't care what you make. We don't care about the quality of what you make. We just want product and we don't want to pay for it. I'll tell you what surprised me was there was people in Hollywood making more money than me. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this view, man. This is great. Yeah, and the trail is going down. Yeah. It's awesome. Nice. Wait, are we going the right way? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, you're the trail leader. <laughs> you do any impressions? I don't do impressions. I love doing voices you do for voice. the, the animation stuff, but impressions, no. What's your favorite voice to do? Let's say your voice from... Uh, King uh, of the Hill? Yeah. Well, my favorite guy in King of the Hill is uh, Bill Dotree, and he's an army barber. Yeah. Not the brightest bulb in the, in the, in the can, but uh, his name is... Uh, William Fontaine de la Tour d'Otrieve, <laughs> Army Barber, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like almost everything. You know, I used to have a girlfriend. It was uh, Ann Richards, who was Governor Ann Richards <laughs> from Texas. How'd you meet her? Well, she came down there uh, and was in our alley. And I went ahead and <laughs> said hello to her. We, came, we became very, very close. I remember picking her up and walking across a pond and I almost stepped on a koi. <laughs> <laughs> she broke up with you, didn't she? She did. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but I'm she sorry. loves me deep down in her heart. She's dead now. <laughs> did you have any trouble finding this trail? No, no, I just followed my little my little electronic robot mat to get here and now we're okay. I By think. the way, how much do you love Google Earth? Do you love it like I do? Uh, I like it because I can go looking for apartments anywhere and see what the neighborhood's like. I know it. Because we're looking for a place in New York right now. We had a pet a tear from like about two, 2015 when I was doing a play at uh, Playwrights Horizons. Yeah. And we, I, I, I miss New York because that's where I grew up as you know, yep. a young actor and a man. And oh, yeah. you, know. you, you were like the ultimate actor growing up in New York, doing uh, theater. Do all that stuff. Is there um, Google Earth in New York? Because I would imagine that's a car that drives around. Ever yeah. seen it? The yeah, oh, top? sure, yeah. I think that would be a really rough job driving a, yeah. one of those Google Earth cars. Because I've seen them, they got that big 360 camera on the top. Uh -huh. And uh, they have to go to places like Afghanistan and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'd want to do that. You ever look for an apartment in Afghanistan? I never have. Oh, um, got some good deals over there. I, uh, oh, this is pretty too. Yeah, it's great. Okay. I, oh. We could not have picked a prettier day as oh, far as is clarity. Clarity and uh, temperatures. And by clarity, I'm talking about your head, your <laughs> mind. You are so clear today. You're sober. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sober today. Yeah. You know what the great thing about Google Earth is? Mm. It's a new way to stalk, <laughs> right? It's a new way to, it's a safe way to stalk. Nobody gets hurt. 
it, of, it, it, it does reveal the fact that you are a stalker, though. That's not good. But, you know, as far as safety is concerned, there are no people usually in Google Earth. Yeah, there aren't. I don't know how they get There's rid of them. only my car that I had four years ago in front of my house. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, one time I was going to this cafe in New York, and the cutest hostess was working there. And um, I would go almost every day, and I'd sit at the counter looking at her. And looking back now, I think, man, I could have been like arrested for stalking or something. <laughs> but you know what I was said in court? I wasn't stalking. I was uh, binge watching. There you binge go. Binge watching. That's it. That's the new thing that you can do. But that is true, by the way, that story. And you know who that host has turned out to be? Who was? Jennifer Aniston. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. I like Jennifer. And she's a good hostess. This is great. How are you doing so far? Is this a good pace? Yeah, this is fine. I'm at that age now. Where I feel pretty good, you know? Yeah. So, I think I look pretty good, but mostly pretty good as long as I don't. It's really how you live, which is moderation in everything. Yeah. And that's the only way to do it. But I'm reminded about how old I look mm -hmm. when I fall. And I got like 20 people coming to help me up. <laughs> sir, you know? sir. Are you right, sir? Sir. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, do we need anyone 911? <laughs> no, I just went down to tie my shoe. Come on. Do you have a bracelet, sir? Do you have a bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe your resume. Man, <laughs> you... All you gotta do is be old, <laughs> and you have plenty of stuff on there. You, but you, I don't think you've ever not been working. No, I've I mean, been really lucky that I've been uh, not waiting tables since 83. <laughs> and that was at home. <laughs> But you, I mean, I could go on and on and on about how many things you've done. I mean, great films. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, One of my favorite Cohen films. The Boys, love it. My favorite, too. Yeah. And, well, uh, that or No Country. I love No Country just as yeah. much. Yeah. And what about um, uh, To Leslie? Yeah, To Leslie. Oh, my yeah. God. She was so gorgeous. She was great. I never heard of her before. Had you? Andrea Riseborough, yeah. She was Jeez. one of those great English actors who have always been great, but got a role that would you know, separate her a little bit. Too, That's too, all it takes. Man. Too good. I do stuff that annoys my wife sometimes. No. Yeah. And I'm I gonna tell you imagine. what they are. One of them, this actually annoys my son too. I like to sneeze really loud <laughs> when I'm with them. For a bit. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> and it's to scare them. And I'm telling you, this sneeze, I can do it the other way, yeah. but this sneeze comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like like a train hit a car, and it's high-pitched, you know? And when I do that, it kind of sounds like this. Hold your ears. Okay, go ahead. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> and they jump a mile. <laughs> they it pisses them angry. off, right? Oh, it does. It does. It because it's kind of like watching a slasher movie <laughs> someone comes out of the closet with that knife man and it just you jump a mile as a jump scare is what it is jump scare oh, i hear you how about you what do you do uh i i i do one of those that you try to keep it in sneezes which is oh, yeah, much yeah. worse for you that's true it's supposed to be really bad is if that you try bad? to keep it in yeah you know what i say to people when mm -hmm. they hold it in mm -hmm. i say this <laughs> supposed to hurt you so I'll try not to do that anymore but uh. <laughs> there's another thing that annoys my wife yeah and I really love doing it it's whistling <laughs> are love... you a good whistler uh, I'm not that good but I mean I'm okay I mean I've never like won any prizes for it but uh, I could whistle for my I used to whistle for my dog nice and uh, I could whistle like, uh, I almost had the White Christmas Bing Crosby uh, whistle down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I like to whistle. And then when I hear a song, you know how it is, the song gets stuck in your head? Uh huh. I'm whistling. Whistle, all day. sure. And I forget that she's over there. <laughs> she has this, it's called a sensory thing with sound. Yeah. It's a real thing that those kind oh, of noises. Oh, it just, just, just pierces her. I yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, speaking of one of the great whistlers, uh, I don't know if you know Eric Gilliland, the writer. No. New York writer. Ran uh, Roseanne for a couple of years. He's a tremendous whistler. Really? Tremendous. I get a little jealous now. You, yeah, I, I'm going to send you one of his videos. And you can maybe stick it in for two does seconds. Does he have a... It's really does, beautiful. Does he have a CD? <laughs> I don't think he has a CD. Okay. 
There's do. some poo. That's good. <laughs> it was in a bag, so the owner was very good. I like it when most hikers like to point out the poo. Yeah. When they see poo. Because they're not used to that. It's either poo well, or snakes. As, as dog owners, you become something from the the eighteen or the uh, 500 BC. You you examine the poo. You make sure it's okay. <laughs> you know. I was hiking on a trail once, and I saw some poop that I thought was deer yeah. poop because I studied a little bit on that. And I took a little stick, and I sifted through it, and it was a. Uh, I could see the deer heat and a couple berries, um, some grass, but. It, it was mostly feces. Yeah. Mostly feces he ate. <laughs> There's been a bad avian flu rate lately. For, for drinking this. avian water? <laughs> I don't think they were drinking that. But yeah, there's been some oh, that's horrible, man. Some condors falling out of the sky and eagles and stuff. It's just awful. Why don't you see typically birds falling out of the sky? When they die, and they do die, mm. they probably won't be flying when they die because that takes a lot of energy. <laughs> Unless they get hit by another bird. Okay, but, you gotta watch this stretch of road here. This is yeah. there. This gets a little muddy. Yeah. Oh, look at the ocean. You can see the ocean out there. Oh, yeah. Damn. Did you play football in high school? <sighs> they made me play football. Uh, I was a track guy. Oh, you were? Yeah. All right. I said, okay. And so I became a tackling dummy for the offense, <laughs> which screwed up my back really bad. Did it? Yeah. So my, my last year of track was, I was pretty bad, but. I was, I was I was a fast little guy in, uh, from about 7th grade to 10th grade. You know what? I can see that when I watch Barry. Your role <laughs> on Barry, Monroe Fuchs. It no just Fuchs. kills me, man. Oh, it kills me so it's much. It's the best written role I've ever got. You, I feel like I'm with you right now. Monroe, <laughs> you are so desperate and a sociopath. Oh, And yes. you are so shallow. Oh, impossibly shallow. Man. I love you. I hate you. I love you. I, I hate you. My mother, my sister. Yeah. You know? You're so confused. But, and you, you're almost like, you're almost like, um, the coyote in the Roadrunner cartoon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You are just, and I can watch you all day. Like, what is it about people that love to watch people in such dire straits? Oh, yeah, uh, because you know that you're in better shape than them. No matter what. <laughs> You've worked with so many people and so many great actors too, I'm sure. Oh, so which, good. and I know you don't want to point out any one actor. Um, but which one really stands out in your head out of all the good ones? <laughs> and I know they're all great. They're all great, but you know, we're all nuts. <laughs> Crazy. I think the crazier the person, the better the actor. Yeah. In a lot yeah, of I, I think And you're a great actor, too. by the way. <laughs> and I'm nuts. I'm absolutely crazy. Um, you know what? I think besides Barry, the best job I had was and I have again is King of the Hill because it just got rebooted. Did it really? Yeah. First time I ever saw you in a role that I remember was news radio. Yeah, I Jimmy think that Jags. was my quote big break. It didn't last long, but I was doing a lot of quirky kind of guys and this this guy that they wanted me to do on news radio, Paul Sims, had come in and do him. I, he said, I, I'm really looking for somebody 10 years older than you. I said, let me come in and I'll give you what I, my gut read on it. And then he, from that moment on, he wrote for me, which was great. Yeah, that is great. Yeah. I mean, you know, Joe Rogan was on that show. Phil Hartman, oh, yeah. your friend oh, of mine. Oh, we love, we love him. Phil. I mean, we you guys, him. I worked with him on SNL for, yeah. I don't know how long he was there, 10 years, yeah. eight years. But you were working with him more recently, most recently before he passed. Yeah, right so before, I, yeah. I was thinking you guys must have really. Had a yeah, he was. Kick we, to the we, gut. Uh, our kids were the same age. At that point, really? So we would go out to Knott's Berry and stuff like that. Oh, that's nice, man. That's that nice. such a shame. You ever steal anything from a set? Uh, yeah, I stole my my stapler from Office Space. No way. So I have the original one. Mike no way. has one. I have one. We burned up two <laughs> and three. Yeah, that's amazing. I stole that one. Where what is else it? did I steal? I stole something else. Yeah, like you don't remember. How much money? 
<laughs> there was somebody on news radio who, when we finally got that canceled, just took everything and put it online. You know, I took uh, I took one thing from Weeds. I did this series called Weeds. Yeah, yeah, it's and, a great uh, series. I took uh, this blue guru jacket I had in the uh, final episode. Yeah. It's been hanging in my closet for I don't know how long. And I think only a real weeds aficionado <laughs> would want it. You know? Yeah. Oh, I have a RoboCop 3 jacket. Do you really? Yes, I do. Is this your bag? Did you leave that there? No. Okay, so, so you went to the bathroom before you came here, okay. I rarely put my, my poo in a bag anymore. <laughs> I love these vinyl records. Yeah, the, the vinyl is, when, when we were switching over in like 83, 84 to CDs, if you AB it, I mean, the CDs sound like hell. These beautiful 12 inches they were making it, you know, the early 80s sound yeah. amazing. Right. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I will have my old LPs <clears throat> from back in the 70s or whatever. Yep. And when I take one out and look at it, I remember where I was. Right, that's right? the thing. There's no there's no way to enjoy when you first got that music. Yeah. By yeah. going. Bup. <laughs> yeah, right? With streaming, you're not gonna go, oh, I remember where I was when I first tapped that link. And I used to play the guitar, I still do, but uh -huh. I was trying to figure out songs like James Taylor, intricate picking. Sure. And I would lift up the needle. Yeah. Put it down. Put it down. Lift it up, same spot almost. Mm -hmm. I know we sound like a bunch of old guys. We are. But uh, we it's are. Okay. Start admitting that, man. Kids you gotta like, start admitting that. These kids like the vinyl as well. <laughs> you know I'm such a fan of Barry. Yes. And your character, Monroe uh, Fuchs. Thank you. Would you just give me one of his looks when he's really, really like <laughs> fearing up that he's in a bad spot? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Thank you, Stephen Root. I'm telling you, that is one of the best roles I've seen him in. That's right, hiking with me. You do not want Stephen getting mad at you. Because all of a sudden, that Monroe Fuchs is going to come out. You saw what just happened. Woo, doggy. You did see what just happened. We had a great hike. Thanks for following along. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, share, and like if you want. All right, we'll catch you on the next switchback. Happy trails.